Uh, g'day guys, welcome back to another video. Now, as you can tell, it's a bit rainy outside right now and a bit swampy, so obviously we're not out here looking for any reptiles or anything like that, but instead, we're out here looking for one of Australia's most rarest frog species. Now, in this area, this is really well known as habitat for the green and golden bell frog. Now, this particular species is considered to be vulnerable and is very hard to find as there is only select few areas around Sydney and like this sort of general area where you can actually find them. So that's what I'm out here right now in this pouring rain doing right now. So we're gonna wait until it gets a little bit darker, but for now, we're just gonna explore this beautiful place at the moment. Ew. Right, so you guys may be wondering, why am I putting all this effort into coming out pretty much into the middle of nowhere, up on the north coast, in order to try to find this incredible species of frog? And as I said earlier, this frog is considered to be vulnerable. And unfortunately, part of the reason why for that is mainly to do with us humans. Whether that be introducing this tiny little microscopic fungus known as the chytrid, amphibian chytrid fungus, which has actually wiped out about a third, or not wiped out, has caused about a third of all the world's amphibian species to be at risk of extinction, including our green and golden bell frogs at the moment. That's going around, that has been spread because of us humans, but also their habitat has been destroyed. So in a lot of places around Sydney, like here, there used to be these really big extensive marshlands. In fact, actually in the local area in which I live, the Illawarra, the small town of Thoreau actually used to have a really big marshland, which was actually home to one of the largest green and golden bell frog populations in New South Wales. It was one of the hotspots, but unfortunately back in the early 90s, I forget when, but it was actually bulldozed and turned into a state and a park. So, and that's just one of the many examples of habitats for our frogs and a lot of other animals being removed due to us humans obviously doing it. And this habitat here is pretty good for them and they've actually been recorded here. Hey guys, we're back. It's of course night time now and we're here in these swamps. Now this swamp here is I reckon pretty good for bell frogs as my mate Simon actually found him here a couple of days ago. So we're here having a look with Simon, our tour guide. So. They're actually, he said they're sitting on top of these reeds and it's pretty smart that they're doing that, eh? Because they sit here and then underneath it, they've just got that maze of places to hide. So pretty much if I walk up to them, they're just going to go straight under those reeds. So fingers crossed we actually find some. So it's like pretty early in the night so far, but fingers crossed as the night goes on, we find some. Ew. Hey, so we're in the pond trying to find some beautiful uh, bell frogs at the moment. Just found this parent. Look at the colours on this thing. I don't even know if that's a parent, eh? Oh, it probably is, but the colours on that thing are insane. Like, I'm just in this marsh right now because the bell frogs, there's an eye shiner one right out there in the middle, so we're going to have to go out there and have a look. But I have never seen a frog like this. I think that's a parent because it's got that cross eye, but that is incredible. We're just getting started. And we already have a few little beautiful frogs. So this, of course, is the Eastern Sedge Frog or Latoria Phallax. Such a cool little species, pretty common. But yeah, let's hope we find his bigger cousin. So Simon's actually spotted this little guy there. He's there croaking. You can see his big vocal sac being extended. There he goes. And the second one's just down there. Yeah. Oh, you can see him croaking. Come on, mate, don't be camera shy. There you go. Hey, guys, we're back, and right in front of me, thanks to Simon over the cameraman, we have the green and golden bell frog. Now, I don't think I've wiped the smile off my face since we actually found him. This is incredible. So you can see why they're called the green and golden bell frog. Of course, you can see those beautiful green and golden patterns, and something we didn't actually know about this frog that Simon pointed out you can see those really blue inner legs. Now, I never knew they had that, which is something absolutely incredible about this frog that I just learned. So that is awesome. We haven't heard them calling, so we're kind of not really hopeful. So I have to get in there in these waders, go have a look, and well, what do you know? We found this guy over here. 
How sick is that? Now, these guys are actually one of Australia's most rarest frog species, especially around here in the Greater Sydney region. Now, these species have been wiped out by around 90%. By Apple mentioned, like what I mentioned earlier, human like habitat destruction, the chytrid fungus and everything. So seeing this guy out in his natural habitat is incredible. However, it is, <coughs> it is unfortunate that we have to travel three hours up the coast in order to find one of these when they actually used to be one of the most common frogs in the Illawarra region. However, oh my God, I've, it's made the drive so much worth it. Eh? It's incredible, but I'm going to get to photographing this fella. So I'll leave you guys to it. <laughs> you got another one, a green and golden bell frog. Now oh, you can see the pattern variation on these guys. Like the other one we got, was like a proper bell frog sort of thing, so you could see all the beautiful colours and that on him. But this one is a bit more of like just a greeny one, like a green bell frog. That's pretty cool. Big chunky one, I reckon it might be a big female one. That's awesome. Yeah, so they're hanging around these edges of these reeds, but we've actually been finding them out in the middle. See eye shine of the other one over there. But wow, how sick is that? Thanks, Simon. Yeah. I'm just waiting out here in the middle of this pond, right there, is one of them. So, I'm gonna try and walk through the stuff, get over to him. So that's our third green and golden bell frog of the night. So you can see how they're sitting. They sit just in those reeds, sticking their little head up. Is that, oh, look at him. That is unreal. It's how they duck under the reeds there. See, this little fella's trying to hide from me. And so that's what they've been doing to us most. All right, so this other one here is quite possibly one of the most beautiful bell frogs I found that night. Now, I'm doing the audio now because the audio stuffed up or something. It was all over the shot. But, um, yes, yeah, such a gorgeous frog. So you can see how they're sitting on top of these reeds and that. Now, below him is easily about like waist-deep water. So they're able just to sit on top, and the second that a predator comes along, they just duck down and hide. But thankfully, this fella was not very phased by me at all. But there's another one that I saw over there. How cool is that? This is this was an awesome night. All right, I'm going to pass back to me now. It's an all night. Found one near the bank, actually. While I'm at it, I'm going to walk over and see what that eye shine is over there. That's something there. Is that another one? What is, what is that? I just don't know what that is. Is that another? That's another bell frog. So that's the fourth one. <laughs> oh my God. So that's another one right there. So you can see him just there on that bank, chilling out, doing his thing. Oh my God. So yeah, they're both sitting in the reeds and sitting in the middle. Here's the boys over there wondering what on earth I'm doing, but thankfully we've equipped some waders. Ew! Walking back where we just were, really deep marshy bit. Oh, this is actually a workout. There's two more right here. Oh my god, I don't want to scare him. Oh my god. So there's one there. There's another one just up from him. Where is it? Right there. There's one right there. So he's a, you can see again the variation, and this one's a much more of a brownie green. There's another one just there. How unreal! Oh my god, this is like the best night of my life. And man, it's only been the first five to six days of 2025 of the new year, and I've already peaked. There ain't no way. <laughs> that is, oh my god, this is unreal. Sick frogs. Well, this has been a pretty sick video. So, yeah, I was so stoked to actually find these frogs and finally tick them off the bucket. But that's about it for this video. I don't know how long it's going to be. I think it's about 10 minutes or so. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.